This morning is uh, a couple of slide packs, so unfortunately death by PowerPoint, so I apologise. Um, um, and it follows uh, the syllabus um, for the foundation training. So the expectation is you've at least had a bit of a look at the foundation licence manual before you've come along <laughs> uh, to give you a bit of an idea about what we're going to be covering. The training follows the Foundation Licence Manual and the Foundation Licence Manual follows the syllabus. So this is what you need to learn to get a qualification under the class licence. And so we're going to be taking you through step by step. And please, please, please ask questions as we go through. So there are three levels of licence in amateur radio in Australia. There is the Foundation, which is an entry level licence. There is the standard license, which is the next level, and then there is the advanced license. And each of these take you deeper and deeper into the sort of knowledge and, and skill set that you need. The foundation is very much around concepts. You need to know the concept. Um, you don't need to know the detail, but you need to know the concept. Um, the standard takes you into, okay, a little bit more detail, and the advanced actually is you need to know the detail and you also need to know why. <laughs> so um, so it, it, it steps through those levels. Um, the requirement is defined in the class licence and one of the things we, we ask you to do is all amateurs should have at least a bookmark um, and these days it's probably a bookmark of the class licence um, so you've got an idea. And the thing about the class licence is it specifies everything you need to know, oh sorry, almost everything you need to know um, and about operating a foundation licence, a standard licence and an advanced licence, it's all of them, uh, in, the, uh, in, this, in one document. Um, and as part of the practical, um, we're actually going to get you to go through and find the foundation licence conditions in the class licence. So you, you can prove to an assessor that you actually know where it is in the class licence. Uh, and we'll probably ask you some questions about what's in there as well. So, class licence. Um, it's a bit, it, it's a, can I just say it's a piece of legislation, so it's written accordingly. So, <laughs> um, um, there is also, I'll just point out here, there is also a licence condition determination for beacon and repeater stations. And we'll go into what beacon and repeater stations are a little bit further down the slide pack. Um, the contents, as I mentioned, is all specified by the syllabus document. That syllabus document is actually in the Foundation Licence Manual, so if you really want to get into the details of why you're learning what you're learning, uh, that's where you'll find it. Um, we are volunteer assessors, um, under, and we're accredited by the Australian Communications and Media Authority, which is our regulator, our telecommunications and um, RF regulator. Um, what do you need to study? Okay, Foundation Licence Manual I mentioned, uh, a bookmark to the class licence and the Foundation Licence Manual also contains the syllabus document so you just have an idea about what we're going to go through. Um, now, there are also training uh, trial WIA exams on the, on the WIA site. Now the WIA is the Wireless Institute of Australia so that's our peak body, amateur radio peak body. Um, who has done some of the trial exams? Anybody? Yeah. And how did you go? Cool. Yeah, pretty good. Passed. Because it tells you passed. And you do it again and it randomises the questions, which is fantastic. I've done it so many times, I'm pretty sure I've memorised most of the questions. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> that, that is an exam technique. Yes. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why we don't put the question bank online. <laughs> So, okay, great, um, good. You, well, you're used to, used to the format, used to the questions, etc. so that's fantastic. So, um, the syllabus is structured and uh, in, a, in a particular way, but what I've done here on this slide is give you an idea about how many questions in the assessment you're going to be hit with based on the subject. And so what it gives us is a bit of an idea about where the ACMA wants to focus on. And the two areas they want us to really focus on and understand is interference and safety. <laughs> uh, 
because there's five questions for each of those subjects. Um, and the, 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 the detail in each of those areas is a lot more. So the really interesting stuff, you only get like two questions. Um, the license conditions, now, the foundation syllabus, the foundation syllabus is actually a combined syllabus for theory and regulations. If you go on and do a standard or an advanced, you actually will end up doing a theory exam and a regulations exam. So they, they, what they've done in this foundation is pulled in the relevant bits of the regulations into the foundation syllabus. So you basically do a 25 question exam and you've done both theory and regulations. So the license conditions has seven questions because there's some regulation questions in there. Technical basics, transmitters, receivers, etc. Uh, and we get to interference and safety at the end. And then we take you through what, what the expectation is around the practical in, that, in a couple of the last slides. 30 minutes long, 25 questions. You've got to get 18 of them right uh, to pass. Um, the practical assessment uh, with a group this sort of size, probably the 40 minute end of that, <laughs> that, that um, scale. Um, and uh, it, it says here, candidates must achieve 100%. Don't let that worry you. Um, lots of hands on and you'll be taken through. There's lots of help sheets, etc. So, uh, So yeah, that's the, the two assessments that you're going to be doing today.